You ain't heard of shit like that. Working all night, you know shit like that. Cutting people off, you know shit like that. Not enough money, but I spend it anyway. Yo, what's going on, guys? My name is Noah, but you can call me King No. I hope you guys like that new intro. It was made by Supreme Airgun. Creds to him. He made the whole thing. And um, he's just a really great motion designer. So for this video, I'm going to leave his link down in the description if you want to go and subscribe to him. So let's get right into today's story. So this story happened back in 8th grade, like the beginning of 8th grade. And um, I would sit with these 7th graders because all my 8th grader friends were in different lunch periods. And I was pretty bummed out about that. So I sat with these kids and... Um, I would just chill with them, we would talk, I guess, get our lunch, go outside, they play sports, you know, I didn't really care for that too much, but one day, we were just like, sitting at our table, so one of the kids that I was with, he was a really good friend of mine at the time, I'm just gonna call him Larry, so I was sitting with Larry, right, and Larry just like, you know, me and him were talking, we were just chilling, he was like one of my best friends at the time, and so, this girl comes over, and then she talks to him, and then she says, you know, that she wants him to go over to her table and like he didn't want to go because like this is a mean girl this is a girl that everyone knew to be like sort of like a thought and a mean person you know you just didn't want to be around this person i think actually she's homeschooled right now like she got into a fight with someone and like she's no longer i guess like going to the school i think she got suspended and then her parents just decided to homeschool her but anyways so what happened was you know i went up to the girl and i was like hey don't mess with my friend you know uh, and I told him, you know, I was gonna back him up. So they ended up messing with me and then they just ended up dragging the kid over to their table. So I went over there and followed them. So they asked me, you know, why are you here? And I was like, I'm just here to protect my best friend. And they were like, oh, really? So I just sat down with them. We were talking and stuff about random stuff. You know, I was drinking my lemonade. We were just chilling, I guess, like long story short. And then they end up bringing up this girl that I used to like and then they start asking me about her and they're like, oh, do you still like her? And I'm like, no, I don't really like her, you know? And then they were like, they were just like pressuring me about that. And they were just like making fun of me. And then all of a sudden, one of them just like jumps on my lap out of nowhere. Like these girls were big and I guess like heavy. Like they weren't fat. They just had fat asses. Like, you know, that's, that's basically what I'm going to put. I mean, one of them was kind of fat, but... The first one that hopped on my lap was, I mean, she was all right. She had an ugly face, but she had a really big ass and like she had a nice body, but that, I didn't really care for that stuff. So she hops on my lap and then she starts like bouncing up and down and I'm like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? Yo, get off me. And then like, you know, I try to get her off and then she's on me for like 10 seconds and then I get her off. And then I said, yo, what was all of that about? And then she was like, oh, I don't know. So like we're talking and then Again, she hops on my lap and does the same thing. And now they're just like, you know, think it's funny. So then her twin sister, who's also like there, she does the same thing. And they're just laughing. like They're just dying and stuff. And I'm like, yo, come on. I'm like, you know, I'm not into that stuff. And, like, and then they said, oh, we know you like it. And I honestly did not like it. Like, I didn't even get a fucking boner. Like, that's how much I didn't like it. Like, usually when someone gets a lap dance, they get a stiff fucking boner, but my dick did not move. And I think my dick actually limped in the process of this because, like, I just felt so bad down there. Like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it was just an overall terrible feeling. And, yeah, so finally, we're just talking. And then the last girl, the very, very ugly girl, the one who um got suspended and all that stuff, and the one that I just really have a problem with, she ends up going on my lap and then... I'm like, that was, it was horrible. It was so disgusting. Like, I just want to go back in time and just, like, push her before she can sit on my lap because it was just a terrible, awful, awful feeling. Like, it was fucking disgusting. But anyways, um, so then I managed to get her off after, like, 20 seconds. And then she's like, oh, I know you liked it. And I was like, no, I fucking didn't. That was horrible. Why would you do that? Jeez, come on now. And so... Then the period finally ended, and then they kind of just like were like, Oh, if you run, we'll go after you. And then so they were like watching me, they were like kind of just following me, and then I made a run for it. I just ran like crazy. And then they gave chase like for a couple of seconds just to scare me, I don't know. And then I ran to class, and I just felt like shit the rest of that day. This kid that I was sitting next to, I just kind of told him what happened. He was like, Oh wow, dude, that's tough, man. And so I hope you guys enjoyed that story. Thanks for watching. Maybe leave a like and subscribe. 
and have a great day.